Okay, so now we're at the grocery store in Rome looking at bread and uh, this is all stuff that looks like it's pretty fresh made. Here's a nice half loaf of like a rustic bread for uh, 120 euro, which is about $1.75 or so. Um, we even have little pizzas just like we get at home, but if you were to just go over this way and go to the bakery, you could get fresh pizza there, which would be so much better. And mom is looking for some pizza for tomorrow. So let's see what else we have. Um, we've got uh, milk, dried milk, and we've got cereal like Special K here, chocolate, Special K. Uh, they even have corn pops and all of our familiar favorites like Cocoa Puffs, sort of. And uh, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, Weetabix. That's always a tasty one. And let's see what else we have. Over here we've got all kinds of pastas. So earlier today we went to a pasta store where pasta was about six euro something a package. You can get your basic white pasta, semolina pasta for 68 euro, which is about a dollar or so. Or you can get some of the specialty pastas, which I'll show you. A little bit more spendy even for what we're used to paying. So for 290 euro you can get some Looks like some nice red pasta. Don't even know what's in it really. Oh, uh, some pepper pasta or some spinach pasta. Or you can get a nice blend of pasta here. I have not seen one thing gluten or wheat free since I've been here. So I'm thinking if you need to be a gluten or wheat free diet, you're going to have a challenging time in Italy because I just don't see it. Here's some really nice uh, fancy pastas. These are uh, $5 American, and it's actually got chocolate. This is a chocolate and vanilla pasta, a 5 euro here. So maybe a dessert pasta? I'm not really sure. Um, now I'm going to take it over here. We've got some canned fish, some tuna here. Their tuna is $4.94, euro, about $6 and uh, some dried goods as you can see but let's go someplace else with this so here we've got cookies your typical halloween fair we've got uh, your mixed bag of basically different kind of shortbread looking cookies and um oh here's something that says fiber on it let's see uh, grand uh rich in fiber rico di fibre with uh, corn cereal tostati and uh, let's see it has almost a whole gram of fiber per serving which is really not very much but hey what are you gonna do we've decided that the Italians are thin because they walk everywhere and have to go up a million and one stairs just to get around the city so we're thinking they must not need to eat quite the same as we do in America to stay thin because their lifestyle and their portions are definitely smaller. You can see all the, the sizes of the things. Let me back up a little bit. Everything is just relatively smaller. Look at the size of my hand. This is a package of a cookie. And uh, this is a big package of a cookie. So compared to the size of my hand, it's really not exactly huge. Um, over here, very important, we have our wine section. Wine is actually relatively inexpensive here. Um, we've got bottles for 431 euro. Uh, Gallo, which is kind of funny because that's from California. We've got some fancier stuff and I'm just going to kind of uh, circle around here so you can see how big it is. But basically um, a variety of wines, more or less reasonably priced. At restaurants we've noticed wine is actually cheaper than water. So I guess maybe that's why it's so easy to drink it. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's it for now and uh, we'll revisit later. So. Thanks.